Let's get things started. Ready? Go! Hello and welcome to Bounding Into Comics. My name is John Trent. I'm the founder and editor-in-chief at Bounding Into Comics. And take out a story about some alleged leaks from Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Specifically, the mid and post credit scenes have allegedly leaked. Before we get to that, I'd like to ask if you could please hit that subscribe button if you are not already subscribed. If you are already subscribed, please make sure you are still subscribed. YouTube does like to unsubscribe people for whatever reason. So as I said, we're going to be talking about these alleged Shang-Chi mid and post credit scene leaks. These leaks were shared to the Marvel Studios spoiler subreddit by the forums and moderation team MSS Mods. According to this alleged leak, the mid credit scene will feature Benedict Wong's Wong, Aquafina's Katie, Simu Liu's Shang-Chi, Mark Ruffalo's Bruce Banner, and Brie Larson's Captain Marvel. The leak states, first post credit scene is Wong with Shang-Chi and Katie in the Sanctum. They are talking with Bruce Banner in human form, not Professor Hulk and Captain Marvel has long hair now, and they talk about the Ten Rings as a power just showing up and how there's other things in the universe they must not know about. The leak continues saying, Bruce and Carol are there using the same kind of hologram tech Natasha uses to talk with them in Endgame. They also mention that there's something in the Ten Rings acting as a beacon sending a signal. When Katie and Shang ask where it's sending to, Cat Marvel gets a message and she and Bruce leave. Bruce is also still wearing a sling, Wong basically says to them, welcome to the team, and it ends with the three of them going to karaoke and singing Hotel California. And that is the end of that mid credit leak. Now, who knows what this signal is in the Ten Rings, who it's sending to. There's probably a number of possibilities. It could be Kang the Conqueror. You could have Galactus. It could be someone like Annihilus. Uh, there's lots of different options that they could be going to. Uh, I have no idea. I haven't seen anyone even uh, scooping what that could be yet. So your guess is as good as mine as what that mid credit scene is actually teasing. But the fact that Mark Ruffalo is no longer in, in Professor Hulk form is something that we have heard about. And the fact that he's not in that form might be a surprise to some Marvel Cinematic Universe fans, as that was the form he was last seen in at the end of Avengers Endgame. However, Geekosity's Edwin Francisco claimed back in June that Marvel was ditching Professor Hulk. Francisco wrote, Mark Ruffalo will be with Marvel Studios for a while, but the same can't be said for Professor Hulk. Francisco added, Marvel Studios will drop the Professor Hulk incarnation in his next theatrical appearance. In other words, Mark Ruffalo will revert to another incarnation of Hulk. He will lose his genius persona. Well, it does indeed seem that Francisco is right that the Professor Hulk incarnation will no longer be there in Mark Ruffalo's next theatrical appearance based on this leak of this post credit scene. But it does seem like he might have got a little bit wrong saying he would revert to another incarnation of Hulk as he's just in the Bruce Banner form. But Francisco did go on to explain why Professor Hulk will not be seen. He said this, we are not sure what will trigger this, but it means that there will be an event that forces him to use a lot of his strength beyond what Professor Hulk can do. This in turn transforms him to a savage, more powerful incarnation of Hulk. Now it's possible that all of what Francisco is saying is still true. Uh, it depends on when they decide to place the She-Hulk series in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, whether or not it takes place chronologically or if it's going to have feature flashbacks. We don't know. We do know that Ruffalo and assumedly the Hulk will be showing up in the She-Hulk TV series. But it's also more likely that they just decided to go with the Bruce Banner form because it's cheaper as well. And that might be the easiest explanation. As for the post credit scene, it features Shang-Chi's sister and teases a second Shang-Chi film. The alleged leak begins saying, after credits, the sister is in her old room. Someone says they're here. She walks out. She's taken over her dad's palace. The Ten Rings banner is now reddish. Her gang is around her while she sits on the throne. The leak concludes saying, zooms out and people are training and the base now has some graffiti, etc., showing the new leader. And then you get the uh, Ten Rings will return. So that's not really a surprise. We've been seeing this throughout the Marvel Cinematic Universe, female characters replacing male characters. And it's not just the Marvel Cinematic Universe that we're seeing it in. We saw it just in He-Man. You saw it in Ghostbusters, you saw it in Terminator. It's, it's, it's happening in all different kinds of franchises and it's pretty much just a meme now and it's what you expect from these major franchises that they are going to do. They're just going to pass down these male roles onto female characters. As for what these 
post credit scenes do for me? Not much. Like I said, the mid credit one is obviously probably the more interesting one as it's teasing something in the future. But again, it doesn't really tease anything. It's not like the post credit scene in the first Avengers movie where we're literally seeing Thanos and we know who that is. We know that this guy's out there. We know that there's this massive threat. It's just like, who knows what's out there? It could be anything. Um, so there isn't really much to lead you to really get excited for or have like any kind of expectations on what it could be. But those are my thoughts on the matter. Let me know what you think. What do you make of these alleged leaks? And uh, specifically, what do you think is receiving the signal from the 10 rings? Let me know what your theories are. My name is John Trent, and you've been watching Bounty into Comics.